people know that from the government a lie has never been told to them. And I ask you to go to the world, to the world, and go to the United States, and ask if they can say what I can say, that I have never told a lie to the people. Said that yes. in, uh, that you, is the truth. You Madam. said that in 18 months or so there will be free elections in Cuba. When yes. this time comes, will uh, the will all political parties be allowed to run candidates in these elections? Yes, of course. All political parties, including the directorial. Of course, if we don't give free to all the political parties to organize, we are not a dem democratic uh, country. We have fought for the democracy here and, and for the free, for the freedom Why of our people. We don't want to stop and to put any difficulty to anybody. Why we believe in democracy. Why will it be necessary to wait 18 months before free elections can be held? Well, do you, do you think it is good for the Cuba now when all the people what want is peace, when all the people that what want is that the government repair the mistakes and the barbarity, the barbarity of the before government. Don't you believe that our country needs at least one year to work? Do you believe that between in the in the in the fight of the political party, is it possible to do anything? If we give a free election tomorrow, we win. Because we have almost all the people. We have now more people than in 18 years. Do because after, after, after 18 years, I'm sure many people are going to be tired. Do you of feel me that and of everybody. Because people tire very, very fast. But do you feel that there would be that trouble if free elections were held tomorrow in Cuba? Do you feel that you would rather have almost uh, over a year in order to... Uh, uh, consolidate things before free elections are held. I think it is good at about 18 months, not more and not less, because as you know, the political party need time for reorganize, reorganize, yes, and each, to work each party. to make prop to make propaganda. propaganda. But Dr. Castro, what guarantees are there then after 18 months? What is the guarantee that there will be free elections after 18 hmm. months? Well, the public opinion in first place. Second place, our word. Third place, our intention that have been proved. Fourth thing, our because we are men without interest. Are you considering uh, revising yes, the and, and five, because it is logic. What we win in not doing election. If we have the people, don't you believe we have the people of Cuba? Do you want to make a survey? Not at all. Okay. I, I, I just you have want to satisfy uh, my own curiosity in this respect. Uh, are you considering, for example, uh, revising the Constitution in any way to, to protect the uh, rights which have been trampled on before? Why? Why there is, it is not necessary at all. It is not necessary. Our constitution, everybody in our country is happy with our constitution. To yes. change the constitution now is to provocate, to provocate to difficulties. Provoke. Not, people is not going to be quiet. And what the country needs is that everybody have confidence. And we have said our constitutional law is the constitution of 1940. And everybody is happy and is sure and know what to do. Mr. Mr. Mellon? Uh, Is it clear? Will the uh, communist or a communist front party be permitted to participate in the elections? What? <coughs> what, I th what I think about that <coughs> is this. The, uh, when the tyranny was falling, the country, they are, they, they are going to be the same right that were before 19, the 10th of March, 10, 1952. And what I think that I, I this, that 
all the rights of the Constitution are ought to be come on, respected. Respect. Are you afraid of the idea? Do you believe that the dem democratic man ought to be afraid of any idea? Dr. Castro, I you am are a lawyer. Afraid. You are a lawyer, and I'm afraid I will have to act as a judge. We'd like you to answer our questions. <laughs> well, I am not afraid no, of freedom at all. May I ask you a question, sir? As a lawyer, and as one who has spoken very eloquently about the civil rights that yes. must be guaranteed to the Cuban yes. people, how do I you explain... I will never be against any right. That is my think in politics. Very I am good. not communist at all. But I will never be against anybody. <laughs>